First state championship? Uh, couple as of teams. teams. As a team, as this team. I, yeah. A few as of them have won um, oh, different teams in there. Wait, what was the final score? Chase? Oh, they yeah. just got yeah, there. Oh, yeah, they got a series two years ago. We're the number one team. That's exciting. Oh, yeah, we shaved it. Though. This is the first year we played slow pitch girls 13 years softball. Oh, oh, oh. That's funny. <laughs> Yes. Guys, come on. This is my favorite all time player. Yes. This is the guy who tried to go to the idol. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Max. You guys don't realize the presence of greatness here. I, yeah. <laughs> I know you can't. I, I keep getting goosebumps every time. It's not that golden color. It would be nice if I had that jersey right now. I know. Oh, my Lord. Don't. Scott. It was Scott three. Was well, we know, no, we already joked about it. That's cool. He was three. I was. Okay, Michael. Michael. Yeah. Scott, get over there, one. Scott, I'm going to take people. I agree. Thank you. I've never seen for an office do a park before. Drayden. Oh, yeah. That, that turned down and off twice last <laughs> yeah. night. Yeah. I'd be scared if we got to do that to turn three. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> you guys know that he stole home more so from cool. third so base more, more than anybody else? Yeah. Great stealer. Hi, Corey. Man, look up. Pizza. <laughs> Can we take a picture of you and get me? Yeah. 
broke the tarp. It was a little slimy. What the boys don't know is I volunteered them to clean the toilets. Yeah, character building. Guys, listen up. Listen to your coaches. Yes. Huh. Huh. Because the higher up you go, the tougher it gets. And you know, they wouldn't be coaching if they didn't know what they're talking about. But no, they don't have to and so many kids grow up and they think that they're all that. <laughs> and sometimes. Think that too much, you get knocked down a little bit. This game, this game of humbling would make you feel like a hero one time, but it would make you feel like a chump. <laughs> 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 you come up and just whack, <laughs> and smack you in the face. I know because I've been smacked in the face a few times. <laughs> but you're a champ. This guy, as much as I want the autograph, I want a handshake. This guy is an all time Twins fan. Oh, great. Thank you. Born a Twins fan. You guys have any questions before I go? I heard your eyes were so good you could picture it. Pick up the rotation of the ball and see if it was a curveball or a fastball. I, you know, the difference with me and a lot of hitters, and good hitters will tell you that we, um, I had great eyesight, but I also, um, really concentrated on seeing where the ball is coming mm -hmm. you know, and Tony Gwynn and I used to talk about this a lot. We would always watch the pitcher's hat. And then we knew where the, the delivery point was. So from here, our eyesight would always go over here because this is where oh. we delivered. So no matter what they did, yes. it always came from that same spot. You so could always see, up here the, up. see the ball. Yeah, I've never seen the last one. And you like can see. You know, like we could distinguish this because this is a curveball and this is a fastball. Yeah. And when we saw a lot of fingers on the ball, we knew it was going to be yeah, awesome. I'll play in a second. Mm -hmm. okay, so it's, it's, all about, it's all about focus. Did you get that? You know, so when you hit, that's, you know, if you watch major league games today, every time you see a hitter strike out with a fastball down the middle, you know what he's looking for? Change up, curveball, or slide. So what is the pitch that we hit best? That's what? That's cool. That's right. So even with two strikes, why would I want to look for a change of the curve and take a fastball? I hated walking back to the dugout. <laughs> you didn't do it much. Uh -uh. Oh, you did. <laughs> so, um, always hit off the fastball. And what I mean by always hit off the fastball Always look for a fastball to hit because you can always adjust down and hit an off speed pitch. But if you're looking for something soft, a curveball, you can't adjust up to catch up to a fastball. You're going to be late. And I didn't like missing fastball. <laughs> you guys all make that make sense? Yeah. 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 So, so when you watch the great decisions of all time, you watch ball games, you watch you. You watch hitters, they just, two strikes especially, when they get to two strikes and they take a fastball right there, remember that I told you they were looking for a breaking ball or something else. Because if a guy throws me a fastball right there at two strikes, I'm not going to let it go. How many times did you steal home play? I stole home seven out of eight times. Eight times one year and 17 out of 19 times in my career. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can the champ. That's amazing. What do you look for in the pitcher you, to tell you that home is available for you to steal? Um, in spring training, Billy Martin always, you know, he was always trying to figure out a way to win a ball game. And so, because I ran well, he told me that he'd like me to study the art of stealing home. So, spring training, and he'd take me down the third baseline, and the pitchers go out to the mound. And different pitchers go through different windups. And when they're 
going through their windups, I take a short walk and leave. And when they get to a certain point where I know that they're going to have to rush to deliver the ball, I go. But it's all about timing. Timing and not being afraid. Uh, I was still, I, I remember a game played in the old map. We were facing Hoyt Wilhelm and Knuckleball, who get get us out very easily and, and really wanted me to steal and get a run early. And Harmon was here. And um, I gave I had to give the guys to play the sign. So I gave him a sign. My sign was I would put it like that. They had to answer me by going with their hat. The batter in the box. The batter in the box. So Harmon gave me the answered me and so I said okay. I, I know it's gonna steal it easy because nothing. And as I'm sliding in, Armin started to swing. No. Oh. <laughs> and then he stopped. And, oh. and he forgot that split <laughs> second that he had answered. And you're sliding inside? I'm sliding in. Oh man. So, so we, we always I don't know how they do it now, but I always made sure that the hitter knew that I was coming. Truth is, they don't do it now much. Well, they, they don't because now they go to the stretch. Right. Mm -hmm. But that's that's just phenomenal. I. Wow. Mr. Carew, who's the toughest pitcher you face? Mm -hmm. Um, the toughest one. Yeah. Left-hander Rudy May. Really? Yeah. When he when he pitched, I took a day off. Really? Yeah, because he he hit the ball well. You know, he was he was signed by the Twins, and he was supposed to be the next Sandy Koufax. But he just couldn't find home play. But he had a great curveball, a great fastball, and he threw hard. And he, for some reason, you know, he used to, when he came back here, I didn't see the ball until the last eight seconds. So, so when he started getting me out, I had a day off. <laughs> 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 and, and guys, that's baseball. Yeah. That's baseball. You that's don't get history. Base every day. That's yep. right. Mm -hmm. it's baseball. Some days you're going to go four for four. You know, the longest streak that I had when I didn't get a kick, sorry, was four for 17 in my whole 19 years in Major League Level. And that four for 17, I hit the ball on the nose 14 times and made and then the 18th time, mm -hmm. I got an infield hit, got a high chopper in the infield, I got two bunt hits, and I got another chopper for base hit on my back. Eight. So that's what happens sometimes. You hit the ball hard, you hit it right at somebody. So, Everybody always asks you questions, I'm sure, about offensive stuff. Mm -hmm. Defensively, do you have any words of wisdom? Because you still got to play D. Yeah. I mean, it's a very important part of it. You know, you always and you want, didn't just play first. You always wanted the ball to be, you always wanted the ball to be hit to you. You know, um, you know when I came up, I, I was, I had a tough time at second base. I made a lot of errors. I made a lot of throwing errors because I used to flip the ball a lot. But uh, it was something that, you know, I had to get over. But then when I moved over to first base, you know, I, I played first base so much more better than I was at second base. When I played second base for nine years, first base for ten years. Mm. But defense is, is very important. Mm. Defense and communication are How'd you break that flipping habit? Huh? How'd you break that habit? Armin got me out of that habit. He, he took, he'd take me down in the, in the pen and work with me on throwing. Even if I threw here, I was good. But once, you know, you got the right down here, I, I used to sink a lot of balls. So, I think, I think Mr. Cruz said, listen to your coaches. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I, I heard I think that. I heard that, too. Yeah! 